Hello, Geminians. Hello, hello, hello. This is Tarot on the go. I apologize. The situation isn't ideal. There's no mic, tight space, but I really want to get the reading in regardless. So it's about the messages anyway, not like a perfect visual representation here. So this is an extended reading. Get comfortable. PJs, uh, favorite adult beverage, what have you, and let's do this. Dreamscape Tarot for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Ace of Pentacles, energy coming in at the bottom of the deck, and an Empress Reverse, which is Libra Taurus energy over there. And you got Earth Sign over here. Let's see what's going on. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini. If you are a Gemini, you know a Gemini. Feel like being a Gemini, Geminians. I'm glad you're here. You could be a Gemini and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Gemini. It could resonate as the main story and Gemini could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Gemini or for a Gemini. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages from my lovely Geminians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Alrighty. I saw that page of swords in this deck. It always reminds me, do you hear what I hear? That's what, I, I don't know. That just popped in my mind, which is so weird. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Gemini they need to be aware of? World reverse. Empress reverse. World reverse. Six of swords. Ace of swords reverse. Somebody's stuck in limbo. All right, got world reverse over here, world reverse over there. What's influencing the world reverse? Same old, same old. What's influencing the world reverse? The high priestess, cancer energy. What's the reason for the reading? Six of cups, ooh, ooh, ooh. Scorpio energy, what's in the past? What's in the past? The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. What's on Gemini's mind? What's on Gemini's mind? Page of Swords reverse. Give me one more card. What's on Gemini's mind? The Star reverse. What's in the near future? Okay. Oh my gosh. Hold on. One second. What's in the near future? The King of Cups, Scorpio energy. How do you currently see yourselves? How do you currently see yourself? The Queen of Swords reverse. I feel guarded. Queen of Swords Reverse can be fed up too. It could be something like, if this is a third party thing, could be a Gemini that's currently in something and maybe you are fed up and that something's not changing, but maybe somebody comes, the Six of Cups is a blast from the past energy. Somebody who reaches out once again and both of these being Scorpio and it just makes it clear what you need to leave or maybe it is, they're not helping the situation, but I do feel guarded here. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in Gemini doesn't see coming? The Three of Wands reverse. Give me one more card. And the Hanged Woman, Pisces. Okay, what is what are in your emotions? What are in Gemini's emotions here? What are in Gemini's emotions? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. I love it. Your emotional Uber has arrived. What is the outcome for Gemini? What is the outcome for Gemini? The Devil Reverse, Capricorn. That's a popular card today. One more card. What is the outcome for Gemini? And the Three of Swords, Libra and Energy. I'm getting three energies here. I am. Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Strength card. I have a feeling somebody's going to reach out from the past. And it's like, I feel like they're going to fulfill something that could be have been missing in your life. Maybe you have been a single Gemini. Maybe you've been in a relationship. But it's only going to kind of key in what needs to change. And I feel like, I honestly feel like you have a lot to think about. I feel like you have a big decision here. World reverse, center of the reading. 
What is the world reverse? Center of the reading for Gemini. Ah, what is the world reverse? I do feel like there's a comeback around big time for somebody who wants to do it right. And this could be a 20-year thing in the making. What's the world reverse? Center of the reading. Eight of swords reverse. There you are. Yeah, that is a big comeback around. Why the high priestess influencing? Seven of Cups reverse. You got a true pairing here. Strong King and Queen of Cups. Um, that's the that's definitely the um, the emotional embodiment we have here. Somebody's true pair. You got Cancer here. You got can or I'm sorry. You got Cancer in the chariot. You got Scorpio in many cards. I mean, boom, right here. Cancer and I'm like getting all lost here and cancer there so it just feels like it really feels like somebody is I feel like somebody's gonna be treating you like their only cup seven of cups reverses clarity I know what it is I want and I kind of feel like that might be an energy coming towards you and how you make them feel and they make you feel and it's easy right what's the six of cups reason for the reading eight of pentacles reverse Virgo energy and I, I'm getting the sense with this Three of Wands reverse, this Hanged Woman, and Eight of Pentacles reverse reason for the reading. I feel like somebody, if this is you or them, somebody tried not to give to this. They're really trying not to see this. They're trying not to get, you know, let themselves get away from reality of where they currently are. Eight of Pentacles reverse. And that's, yeah, Two of Swords, Libra and Energy. And I just feel like somebody's really trying to stay here and not see it, not give to it. But they can't, it's, it's somebody's persisting, somebody's resisting, but I don't think they can resist very long. Four of Pentacles in the past, it's just, you know, ho-hum energy back here. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Four of Wands, two fours. We'll talk about stability where they currently are and the Page of Pentacles. So somebody I kind of feel like could have been in a relationship, right? But somebody else kind of feels like they've been single, that Four of Pentacles, it seems a bit single. And this person's ready to offer a pentacle back here, okay? This is past. And it just feels like they're offering it to somebody that may not be quite available. Star reverse, page of swords reverse on your mind. What's the star reverse and the page of swords reverse on Gemini's mind? Seven of pentacles, should I stay or should I go card? That's what that is. Taurus energy. It's a card of reflection of the time spent, but could it be of the time spent with this person? Did this person leave you for someone else or did they move away? What Did they pick work over love? What was it? And I feel like... It's funny because if you add this page of pentacles, seven of pentacles, you got an eight of pentacles. Reason for the reading, eight of pentacles reverse. I feel like Gemini, you're the one with the power now. Tables have turned, this person's offering you something and you're the one, should I stay should, or should I go? Should I give to it, should I not? This is gonna end in a disaster, star reverse. That's what it feels like. King of cups in the near future, Scorpio energy. But they, I feel like they're applying some pressure here. King of Swords, Aquarius. We got an Emperor, I feel. King of Cups, King of Swords, near future, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody is really, really persisting this connection. And you are being a Queen of Swords reverse, Gemini. I do. You don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get yourself in a place where it's hard to get yourself out of. What's this Queen of Swords reverse, how you see yourself? What's this Queen of Swords reverse? How Gemini sees themselves. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. It's funny because this King energy is upright coming at you. Your Queen reverse trying not to. And we did have an Empress reverse. And I'm. you may not be in a place where it's like all buttercups and rainbows. But you also aren't possibly like in a Five of Pentacles either. You're not at the bottom of emotional well these days. And I feel like this is like a walking red flag. It's funny because the High Priestess is upright. If it was reversed, that is the red flag card. But I feel like you're just being very cautious because somebody is being very, they're just really putting on the, the, they're really pursuing you here. What is the Hanged Woman and Three of Wands reversed? Gemini is saying, you know what? I'm still not giving to it. My back is to you. 
Nine of Cups. I feel like you're the one to chase. I feel like that's you. Uh, Pisces energy, got Pisces here. Um, Nine of Cups is a very confident, single, happy energy. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck, then Tower Reverse and the Star. I feel like you're making it hard to get, even if you're not trying to make it hard to get. Nine of Cups, energy coming in. Two of Cups, oh, they're laying it on thick. Gemini, they're gonna make it really hard. They're trying to make it really hard to say no. You got the chariot in your emotions. Well, who's chariot? There you are. Something's moving on quick, Knight of Swords. It's funny because the Knight of Swords is going quickly this way to the chariot. I kind of feel like you might give in to this temptation. Knight of Swords in the chariot. Ace of Swords reverse. And the lovers. Ace of Swords reverse can actually be a secret card. I feel like somebody's offering you something and it's gonna be on the down low. But I wanna move this out of the way because the outcome, I wanna focus here. You got a three of swords upright and a devil reverse outcome card. What is this about? Outcome is the devil reverse and the three of swords. Devil reverse and the three of swords. Three of wands. Why the three of wands, Aries and the Hierophant. I honestly really feel somebody at this moment or during this time, they really know what they want. Three of Wands is waiting for the chip to come in. You you might be a Gemini waiting for the right one, the, the relationship. This person's telling you what it is you want. There's something, there might be some type of alarm bells that's telling you, you don't wanna get wrapped up maybe in a third party. You wanna do it right. You're avoiding this disaster and you don't wanna be hurt at the end of the day. But what's this Three of Swords, Libra and Energy? There's all these threes in the star reverse. And it kind of feels like five of pentacles upright and the five of swords. I'm getting this sense that maybe, what if the person coming towards you, Gemini, is in something? You have to have a lot of threes here. You do, you have a lot of threes. You have twos as well. You got the lovers, you got the two of cups, you even have a page of pentacles. I almost feel like somebody's offering you something before they're able to offer it. And you, you deserve more than that. The connection's definitely there. The attraction is definitely there. This person's pursuing you like nobody else. Nobody's business here. But I feel like you're standing strong. I feel like you're not giving into temptation. In your emotions, you want the chariot, not the chariots of fire here, you know? And so I think you are making it, you are hard to get because you deserve, you deserve to to be treated right, not as a side piece. I kind of feel like somebody's kind of keeping, trying to keep you as a side piece. That's the feeling I have here. But I mean, with your card, the lovers, you don't want something as a secret. You want to live your life out loud with someone, you know? So I definitely feel like the connection, but I, this is like, it feels like this is a, a, a relationship in the making. This isn't the end all, you know, at this reading. I just feel like like if we're doing a week's glance, I just feel like for that week, you're really sticking to your guns and not letting somebody, you know, pull you off track. The chariot in your emotions, you're on track. You know what it is you want and you're holding out to get it. I do feel like somebody's trying to offer you something too soon before they're able to offer you it, but they do want it. So I don't know, maybe they're finally going to end something and give to something. So, all right, Gemini, have a great rest of your week and take care.